Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep that energy going. We are going to keep rocking and we're going to come up with the next act. Are you ready for your next act? Are you, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start on this side of the room because you look like a screamer, no offence. You're going to go... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Heidi Stan! Good evening, everyone. How are we this evening? Yay! Hope you're all as wet as I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am delighted to be here for you this evening, performing. And, uh, yeah, I... I am wondering, I am wondering, what did you all give up for Lent? Uh, crisps. Crisps? Yeah. Terrible choice. Uh, I, I decided to give up men for Lent. Yeah. I'm really hoping that my car doesn't break down. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I need a few more days to go. Uh, Stand-up comedy is not as easy as you all might think. I know we all make it look easy, some of us, but uh, it really isn't. I once heard a famous male comedian, he was being interviewed and he was asked, what makes a good joke? And he said, you need to get straight to the punchline with no foreplay. It was at that point I realised why there are so many successful men in comedy. <laughs> Food waste, as we all know, is a massive problem at the minute. And we're all being encouraged to minimise the amount of food that we throw away. And the best way to do this is by knowing the difference between a best before date and a use by date. So I'll give you an example. I was best before 2009. <laughs> but you can still eat me. <laughs> Just maybe not with the natural yogurt. That's the only thing. Maybe not. Um, I was with my doctor recently and we were going through the options for contraception that are available. And I stopped her. I said, Doc, I said, you don't have to worry. I have a 100% foolproof method at my disposal. And she looked at me. She said, what's that? I said, this face. <laughs> Thanks. Fuckers will be saying that at the end of the night, will you though? No, no. Uh, you know, it's, dating is, it's a minefield. It really is. And, you know, men are, they're confusing creatures. You know, and I know there's, there's a few of you out there tonight. And, um, you know, yeah. A few I'm not too sure of, it's a bit dark, but. Um, but you are, you're confusing. Now, go with me on this, okay? As kids, right, when you were little boys, you loved playing in the forest. You loved playing around in the mud and, you know, going running through the forest. But then as adults, I mean, you see one hint of a bush on a woman <laughs> and you lose your shit. Like, what the hell is that about? Seriously, what is that about? It's just, it's appalling. And, you know, maybe the fact that I find men confusing is why I'm still single. I mean, there's that and the whole lesbian thing is probably, <laughs> probably a contributing factor, but I was, uh, give us a woo, give us a woo if you like to read. Woo! Gives a woo if you can read. Woo! Yeah, I don't believe you. I, don't believe you. Uh, I was in the bookshop recently and uh, I was having a browse and I saw a book on the shelf and it was called Fat and Queer. I have no idea why it appealed to me. <laughs> but on a whim, I picked it up and I brought it home. And it was only when I got it home 
and I started to, I opened it and looked at it, but I realized that it wasn't the LGBTQ plus book I was expecting. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was a pregnancy book. <laughs> what to expect when you're expecting. And I mean, what could I do? I couldn't even bring the damn thing back because what was I supposed to say was my reason for a refund. Ah, oh, I judged a book by its cover. <laughs> uh, is everyone here from Sligo Gives Woo? Woo! Oh, well, no, we're not. We have one outside. Yeah, fuck off. Um, <laughs> there's the door. There's the door. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> you can't have to my set. <laughs> but uh, Sligo is... Uh, I mean, I love living in Sligo. It's a great place to live. Woo! But getting parking is an ass at times it really is i mean wine street wine street is a bottleneck isn't it <laughs> but you know sligo for such a small town it's it's a great place it has an airport for god's sake it is a fucking airport mind you judging by its recent closure the concept obviously never took off but that's Entirely not the point. Now, I am not the most athletic of people. I'm sure you can tell. Though this is quite slimming, I, I, I hope. But uh, I managed recently to climb Ben Bowen. Yes. I, I think that's what his name was anyway. I don't, I don't quite remember. Hmm. Uh, but my favourite favorite part of Sligo is called the Devil's Chimney. <laughs> now, has anyone not heard of the Devil's Chimney? No. 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 So, uh, the Devil's Chimney is a waterfall where, on occasion, the water blows back up over the waterfall itself. It's beautiful. Recently, um, <laughs> Uh, a partner of mine uh, nicknamed me the, the Devil's Chimney um, during an amicable escapade. Oh, there's, there's, there's a confused man here. Just, just one um, so, when a man and a woman love each other very much, or have had a lot to drink, or, now I know it's unlikely, but, you know, there's a, a, a massive pandemic and they get stuck in a house for three years together and not able to leave. You know, things happen. He's still, still confused. I, I, I squirted in his face. Uh, I have been Heidi. You've been wonderful. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody? How's everybody feeling? Are you feeling good?